Hello, Cancer. Thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle cards, I'm using the Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. Already shuffled. Relationship first, single second. Oracle cards come out where needed. Okay, so this is a step-by-step -step process. I'm already getting that. You got the Hermit here popping out. Seems to be for both of you, quite frankly. Um, you're very tied together in this whole situation. Step-by-step -step process. It's building as it goes. I feel like this is very unconventional already. Very, very bound in this. Like, whatever this is you're dealing with, like, you're both very caught up in it. Very tied into it is what I'm getting. It feels very tied into it. Um, whatever this situation is, I'm feeling your partner especially not letting go. Not, well, see, you got the Seven of Swords. They have the Four of Pen Four of Wands. Four of Wands is very contractual, very I have to do this. There isn't a way. There is no option to walk away. This is something I agreed to and I will do. Doesn't matter if I like it or not. I will do it. That's kind of how that feels right now. You got the Seven of Swords kind of like, you know what, maybe I can just kind of fade off into the background here. Maybe I can just let it be. Um, your partner does seem to be taking the lead here. It's, I find it very ironic, though. I feel them very... Very... I don't want to say defiantly, but very stubbornly feeling like they need to handle this. You're both very much tied into it, though. That's the thing. And I feel you just kind of like, let's let sleeping dogs lie, just handle it as it comes. Don't, don't make waves. Just kind of deal with it as we go. Oddly enough, the way this is working out at this point anyway seems to be the best way for the situation. You seem to be relaxed a bit with it. Kind of like... When I'm getting this Seven of Swords, I don't feel you, like, walking away completely. I don't even think, like, you can. But I feel you just kind of becoming more relaxed with it, as relaxed as you possibly can get away with. Your partner seems to be holding to the situation and making sure it works out. This is, seems to be for the best right now. I don't... It doesn't... It feels like it's for the best right now. That seems to be working. It's okay. Um, now, the here The Hierophant. Yes. No. The Hermit. There's a Hierophant out here. I don't see him, so I don't think so. Um, the Hermit between... Is it between... No, it, it is the two of you. Because even that Four of Wands with your partner, they're doing, like, rote routine. Same thing, but they're thinking it over, trying to find a... Like, is there another solution here? But they're not looking for an out. They're looking to keep bound... To, stay bound to the situation. You're thinking about it... The thing is, when you're thinking about it, you're, you are looking for a way to get out of this situation or to change it or to make it easier. I feel like you can't get out of it, though. But you want to, like, see if you can pull back more, get some relief from it more, release your connection to it a little bit more, because it's really stressful, uh, is what I'm also getting. Now, your partner, temp uh, judgment, which feels a lot like temperance, but it's not temperance, um... The judgment seems to be that they feel like if they just take it one step at a time, slow but sure, and this is also right next to that, just so you, in case you're wondering where that energy is coming from, their challenge card is to stay with it slow and sure, but it's the King of Pentacles. They're still in command. They are in command. <coughs> I feel like it does work better that way, and I feel like you're more than okay with it. Like, yeah, yeah, you do it. Go ahead, knock your socks off. Knock your socks right off. Um... <clears throat> your partner is like making it work out it is balancing it is surviving or it's okay the way they're handling it you got the moon card on your side you just don't know i feel like you're in this land of wonderment like i don't know what i'm gonna do with this shit stuff stuff situation situation is what i meant to say i swear um <laughs> um what am i gonna do next how am i gonna get this to go forward 
do we even have to make this go forward? You got the moon card on your side. You're just kind of in the land of like, you don't really want to be a part of it at this point. There's no choice. You have to be, but you just, you really don't want to. And you're just kind of like, I just feel like you're really disillusioned with the whole situation. Like, done. Like you want to be done, but you can't. That's what I'm feeling. Now, the passion is, this matches all, all both of you together in the situation. You're upset because it doesn't seem like, a, it's like a no-win situation is kind of what I'm feeling on your side. Your partner doesn't really go that far with that thought. They have passion because they feel like they're, they, that's what they need to do. Like they have to keep fighting to keep it going. This seems like a rough situation. Now what is this coming up is a good question. You have the wheel of call, the wheel of call, the wheel of call. It does look like a phone call to me. All right, what's that about? Phone call. Phone call. It looks like an old-fashioned rotary phone to me. When I look, looked at it quickly, I don't know why, but it did. Like the the receiver's just missing, but that's what it looks like to me for some reason. Um, <clears throat> fate is gonna you know, intercede here. Fate will intercede. The thing is, when it does. Because it's coming forward. What happens next? This seems to be your challenge. Because I don't feel like your partner is going to be able to stay in the lead with this situation. The wheel turning, the wheel interceding, it's like a phone call. It's like a call to action. It might literally be a phone call in your situation that changes things and turns it around the other way. To where your partner may have been the one in control for a while and you were cool with that. But fate is interceding and it's... The coin is flipping. Now you're the one who's in control, and it's not like, it's not like okay, my turn. I'll take the lead. It's not like that. It's kind of like fate says, no, it's your turn, and that's it. <laughs> like you're the one taking. Now, now you have to take the lead. There's no option to it. <laughs> because I'm seeing the queen of so wands, queen of wands on your side. The swords is coming up, the two of swords. Because, and don't get caught up in the gender, but I'm feeling like you're you're pushed into the active lead. Uh, and I've said this recently a couple times. The queen and king I view as equals. They're both decision makers. One doesn't really outweigh the other the way I read, just to be fair. Um, it's your turn to take the lead, is what I'm getting. You will take the lead. It just, I don't feel like, fate's not giving you an option. <laughs> Whatever your partner was doing, it's, it's now being flipped. The thing is, you are taking the lead, and I feel you picking up where your partner left off, you just seem to be continuing what they were doing, but you have to change the situation, and I get that. The Two of Swords is helping you because you're you're not able to do it right off the bat. And I feel like for you to really change the situation, because this situation needs to change, you have to remove your partner's connection to it. That seems rough. They're saying it's not because the Harmony card is between the two of you. They're saying the situation gets better when you take the lead and you remove your partner's connection to it. That seems really... They're saying harmony happens from it. The situation itself gets better. I'm still feeling like when you're... I feel like this is rough for the relationship. But it has to happen. I feel like they have to be... Con I feel like they will be disconnected one way or another. I feel like you're telling them you'll take it from here. I don't feel like you could co-manage co this. <laughs> or I don't feel like this can be a diplomatic effort or a it can't be a democracy. It has to be a, a ruler and you're going to be the ruler. And you have to take the lead. I feel your partner not only backing off but stepping out. Which is ironic because they're the one in the beginning who did not feel that way. They felt like they were bound to it and that's just how it is and they weren't going anywhere. And now... Fates turn the wheel. You're the one in control, and I feel like you have to take this on your own. If you take the lead and just take it on your own, that's where the harmony comes. Things get a lot better. Because I feel like confusion seems to be a thing of the past when one of you steps out, and I feel like it's going to be your partner that steps out, and I feel like you're going to have to actually tell them, even though you don't want to, that they have to step out. That seems really harsh, but they're saying the whole situation improves after that. 
There's no more confusion. There's just this is the way we're going. This is how I'm, I'm making the decisions. That's and I'm just going to take it where I need it to go. And that's where that is where that's going. Your partner. Just to be fair, your partner's not. I don't feel like they really like it, but they're they are agreeing. They're not fighting you on this. They seem to be watching from the sidelines after the fact. But I do see they, they've put down their, their weapon. They've put down their sword. And they're staying out of it after this. And I feel they do have a little bit of a disconnection to it. But I feel like they will do that. It's just when fate turns, that's when this changes. Neither of you are expecting it to go this way. It's very interesting. Hopefully it feels good when it finally evens out. When this harmony card comes into play, your partner has stepped out already. Hopefully it feels good at that point. I'm hoping it goes well for you. All right. I'm going to stop beating it to death. Let's go through to Cancer Singles. What do we have for single Cancers? <clears throat> Have for single cancers messages for single cancers powering messages for single cancers okay pop these out in the last room. Yeah, I didn't. I remember not. What do we have here for you guys? There's some... Alright, we'll have to see. <laughs> Lately, I get a couple cards and I'm just like, where is this going? I get, I get that feeling until we get into the card and actually read the card. I'm just kind of like, where is this going? <laughs> this is at the top to give you some type of idea of what's really driving the whole reading is the Knight of Cups which is usually an offer of love, somebody bringing in love, love making an appearance. This actually can come into where you, it's like love at first sight. This can be one of those, like you see each other and you're just driven to be closer. And it just kind of, it's a mutual effort that can happen too. But it's like love moving forward, love taking a trip forward or advancement forward. Now, This is somebody who's been waiting. This is somebody who's definitely been waiting. So it is love making an advancement forward, but somebody who's been waiting, and I'm seeing the temperance card with the healing over in the environment. They're de describing this person that has been going through some things, biding their time, hopefully healing. Because they got healing here. Hopefully healing. Now, this can go one of two ways. So I would like, use this with a grain of salt or read this with a grain of salt. And take it based on your situation. Either this person has been putting their life in order, taking the time to really do that and evolving forward so possibly something could happen here, or the circumstances around them have been healing. It's bringing more to light who this person really is. Keep that in mind because temperance with the healing, they could be saying over time you're seeing the truth about what this person is about. Because when you first came across this person or had an inkling that something could happen in the future, it was like a false start or like a, I don't know, it, it just didn't go very far. It's almost like you admitted each other's, you admitted there was an attraction between each other, but nothing came of it. Could be even that moment where you saw each other, you felt the electricity, but nothing happened after it. So this is how it started. This is the history card. The Fruitless Wind is saying, the acknowledgement was there of the passion between the two of you, but nothing happened at that time. And they're saying, they're saying with this, it's either one of two things happened. They've taken the time to really move forward, to advance, to get clear of their emotions. They've healed things that they were not comfortable with or that were not going well in their life. And they're coming to a spot where they might be able to give you a chance or give the situation a chance. Or, take this with a grain of salt, really think about it though. Life, things around them have been healing they may be in a disarray still, but it's bringing forth what they're truly about. You might be actually, the healing might be you seeing, seeing what they're really about. Things around them might be healing. It's slowly bubbling forward because they're failing at something.
but it's coming forward and it's very apparent. So just look at it very closely. If this person seems like a train wreck, then on the outside you're like, I'm seeing things change in their life, but I'm not seeing them get any better. This might be a warning. This might be a warning saying that, you know, this person might be the cause of their own problems. But on the other hand, if you're seeing like they've backed off, they seem different, they seem more relaxed, they seem more on point, that's the good version. So look at it with a grain of salt. If you don't think this person has changed, if you're not seeing anything on the outside or face to value where you think they've changed, they seem a little different, take warning with that. All right. Now, not only do you have the Knight of Cups at the top, you have the Ace of Swords at the bottom. So communication is more more likely here than it meets the eye. It's not like, this could be a thought card, I'll give you that, but it's not in this situation. But these two together, there's communication coming forward, there's an advancement coming forward. You got the Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. There's balancing out energy, deciding if something can happen here, giving people a chance, giving people a chance. Now, more than likely, you're the one giving this person a chance. And you're really trying to understand, like, if anything's better or if anything's different or, like, making sense of, like, well, before when we acknowledged each other's feelings or we were, ob it was obvious we both had feelings and it fell flat or it didn't go anywhere, why didn't it? And why would that be any different now? And is it acceptable or unacceptable? Like, was it just because this person didn't move forward or I didn't want to move forward? Or was there something blocking our path before? Has, what has changed since then? Is it the same as it was or have, have things changed and why? The why is a big thing. Which goes to, with your personal experience of this situation. The why. Why are things different now? Because I feel the fool card here where you're standing, they're like... Don't just let that pass you by. Think about that. Why? Why is it different? And are you truly okay with why that's different? If the, if, the, if the coin was flipped and you were on the other side of this, how would you be feeling? Just think of it that way. So in other words, if this person left somebody, flip that coin and how they left that person, how would you feel about that? Just think of it that way. That's what I'm getting. Because I see you slowly, slowly giving this person another chance, slowly giving it some consideration, deciding whether this is something you should be a part of or not, not being pushed ahead faster than you want to be. The, the Seven of Wands, it is a defensive card, granted. But this is also a thing where you decide who's coming in. That person is guarding a doorway. They are. But that means they have the decision power of who gets in and who does not get in. So if you decide something's going to go forward, then that's your business. That's fine. But if you decide it's not, then you're going to block it. And I don't see you being moved until you want to be. And you could also, like, there's, what is there, six wands going against the seventh. <coughs> you could let in one or two pieces of this situation and hold off the rest. You don't have to accept all or nothing. Because I feel you slowly giving this consideration, slowly deciding whether this is going to actually be something you want to do or not. The Four of Cups comes forward next with the, the new beginnings. A lot of this seems like it's what you want. I have a feeling, whatever the reason was, and hopefully like the Fool card is saying, seriously, think about why it's different now. Are you okay with that? Flip that coin. If you were on the other side of that coin, would you be okay with what's going on right now? Think about that. Because I feel like if you're not, if it's not in your conscious thoughts, it's subconsciously bothering you when you move forward. You're not completely at ease with the situation. I'm getting, if you're using this energy correctly and you're looking at this deeply and you're just kind of like, let me flip the coin and think, how would I feel if I was on the other side of this coin? Because the fool kind of just goes forward without thinking about those things. Just because you're standing with the fool card, they're saying you might have that moment, but it doesn't mean you have to stay in that moment. This the, card, the whole point of the card is for you to wake up and decide, yeah, I'm being a little naive here. Am I okay with that? What am I being naive about? That's kind of the point of this card. What am I being naive about? Because if you're not bringing it to the forefront later, you're going to be uneasy in this situation. And you're going to question, like, why don't I feel comfortable? What's not sitting with me well? They're saying all you need to do, why is it different now? 
flip the coin, for example, if this person left somebody else, are you, if you were that person, how would you feel? Think of it in those terms. Just think of it in those terms. Now, the Four of Cups is coming forward, but you'll notice New Beginnings is right here with it. Everything is not perfect at this point. But that Fourth Cup, that's like, I mean... It's like needing a dollar, having a set, but having 75 cents. It's not quite there. You can't really do what you want. Could be there soon if you could just get that last quarter. Maybe it would be better to, to look at this in larger terms. If you have uh, $750,000 and you need a million, you know, that's the, that's, I think that's a better way to put this because for me anyway, I don't have anywhere near that amount of money at all. But if I had $750,000 and I needed a million, I'd be like, I'm lucky to have this. I'm lucky to have this much. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get another $250,000. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like, that's how this feels to me. It's like, it's not, I, th I think using the dollar analogy makes it too simple. I think if you look at it, $750,000, and you're like, well, I'm lucky to have that. I don't know how I'm going to get another $250,000. I don't know. What? Like, I feel like that would be, that would be me anyway. You're like, I don't know how I got this much. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get that much more. Um, cause that's this feeling here. It's starting off, it's going forward, but they're saying there's, there's a significant amount missing here. Yeah, there's more good than bad, but there's a significant amount missing. But you seem to be going forward anyway. You got to do what you got to do. They're saying that this is going to be a long haul. That fourth cup that 250000 that I was talking about, that's a long trip to get that last piece. That's a long trip. When I'm getting the Page of Pentacles with the confidence, like it makes me literally feel like a 12-year-old that wants to, can't wait to graduate high school. Like what, the kids graduate at 17, 18 usually, where I'm from, it's usually 17 or 18. That's a significant amount of time. And if you remember being a child, and if you went through that type of experience, um, it felt like a lifetime away. And I feel like that's what this is saying. What you're getting involved with, that last piece that you need, they're saying the confidence is necessary that you can achieve it. Yes, you can. But you're starting at that long haul. You're starting a long haul. It's going to take a long time to get it there. Also put that in play when you're thinking about this because you're getting involved in something that's going to take a long time to get where you want it to be. Make your decision based on that. I feel like, again, coming back to the Fool card, that's why that's here. It's saying you're going to have uneasy feelings going forward. and It's just it's because you're aware of this. It's a long haul. Are you assured a victory? It's a general read, so you got to think about this for yourself. Do you feel like this person is definitely going to be where you want them to be? Or could you end up investing all this time, and then when, the, when you get almost to that goal line, nope. Because that happens, and we all know it. Sometimes that happens. We all know it. Really look at the person you're dealing with. Think about that. This is a big part where they're saying, also, flip that coin. How would you feel if you're on the other side of that coin? Because you might have your moment. Think about it. That's what they're saying. That's all they're saying. I, I, I get that the message is here, but it leaves me a little uneasy. They're saying, if this is hitting with you, and this person feels this way, like at first it was like, eh, I can't do this. Something else is coming around a little later. They seem like they're healing or things are changing around them. But you're like, ah, there's a significant part missing, but we could go forward. You're getting involved with this and it's going to take a long time before it's in the right spot. And there is that chance that you could get almost to the goal line and then it's happened to all of us sooner or later. You know, in different types of things. Like it's not always been love. It's been work or this or that. You know, it always happens. Somewhere in life, we all, everyone experiences it one way or another. So, just keep that in mind as you go forward. They're saying if you can flip that coin and you can understand how that person feels and you're okay with it. If you feel this person is making significant headway, changing their life and you're okay with it. Is when you really settle down and see it for what it is, after a couple days... It should be okay. You should be comfortable with moving forward, but you gotta like th think it out. Maybe there's questions you you need to ask about what happened here, what happened there. Why is the other person so angry? If they are angry, why are they so distant? If they are distant, like 
ask the questions, get the answers. Maybe that'll calm those fears and you'll be able to slide forward a lot easier. All right, I know we're done. I'm, I'm beating it to death. So I'm going to let it go here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.